Yeah, with the festival in town, Main Street will be closed for the weekend. Here's what you need to know if you're going to be driving in the area. Take a look at this map here on your screen. Main Street will be closed from 3rd Street to 9th Street beginning Friday from 6 to Sunday at 5. So if you're traveling on Highway 59, the best way to avoid Main Street will be to take 11th Street, make a left on Cedar, and that will bring you right back to Highway 59. Now, there's going to be no parking on Main Street for the weekend because there will be vendors right set up in the middle of the street, but there is free parking on side streets and several businesses have agreed to let visitors park in their lots. Now, Van Buren High School students project graduation, they will have paid parking spots that benefits the fundraiser for them, so you can always help them out by parking in their lots. And there's going to be family fun entertainment all weekend long. If you haven't ever been to this event, you need to come and see because you can find just about anything you would ever want to see. It's a very family friendly thing. Uh, like I said, there's music playing all the time. There are uh, children's rides as well as adult carnival rides. Now the carnival will be up and running tonight starting at 6 o'clock with live music entertainment beginning at 7. So don't worry about the traffic. Don't worry about any no road closures. Find some parking. Join in on the Old Timers Day Festival here in Van Buren. Live in Van Buren, Pedro Rivera, 4029 News. Pedro, thank you. And with weather permitting, Lonnie London says the festival has, been, has seen as many as 40,000 people make their way to the Old Timers Day Festival.